Hey guys, it's Jake here from Team C4G, uh, coming at you today with a new deck profile. Uh, this is Dogmatica Ritual. Uh, it's a deck I started playing a little over a week ago. Um, I've wanted to play it for quite some time. It just seems like it's quite a bit of fun, so I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah, quite enjoying it at the moment. So uh, this is what I've come up with so far. If you do have any suggestions or questions about the deck, feel free to jump into the comments below and let me know. Um, otherwise, we will get started. So uh, needless to say, we start with three of the Dogmatica Ecclesia. Um, yeah, pretty much gets all your plays started, um, it's one of your sort of main monsters, um, it's quite nice in ulti too, has to be said. Um, so yeah, quite like that one. Um, so yeah, if you weren't aware, search as any Dogmatica card on summon, and while it's on the board, can't be destroyed by extract monsters, uh, by battle. Um, yeah, just really solid card. Uh, next we have three Diviner of the Herald. She's one of your other normal summons. Um, so yep, sends a uh, fairy from the main deck or the extra deck to uh, increase its level and all that kind of stuff. So generally speaking, you're going to be sending Herald of the Arc Light from your extra deck to be able to do searches. Um, and then she's your link material to get stuff um, in the bin for other cards, which we'll get into in a sec. Uh, then we have uh, one Dogmatica Fleur de Lis and one Dogmatica Maximus, uh, so it's a Fleur de Lis, a uh, negate for extra deck um, scenarios, and Dogmatica Maximus can banish the uh, card from the bin that's from the extra deck, and then sends two cards from each player's extra deck to the graveyard, so again, uh, get your Herald of Arc Lights, your Entuses, and all that kind of stuff in the bin. Uh, then we move on to uh, two Maximus, uh, sorry, two Magnemut, and two Druus Worm. Um, so this is just what I'm working with at the moment. There may be some changes to this only because it's not particularly uh, impactful in the current meta. Not a lot of stuff's going to the graveyard uh, that it can target and um, get a huge benefit off. Um, so yeah, it may change these out for some other more generic cards, but at the moment I'm quite liking them. Uh, then we move on to uh, some hand... Uh, no, we'll keep going with the rituals. We'll keep going with the rituals. Uh, so we've got White Relic of Dogmatica, and we've got white knight of dogmatica uh so these um basically while she's on the board level eights can't be destroyed by battle um you know level eight or high dogmatica um if a card is summoned from your opponent's extra deck you get to look at their extra deck and send another card and on summon it targets another monster you control um and then it it or the other monster will gain attack equal to the other monster you control uh targeted rather uh, so you can make her quite beefy with the card I'm about to go and show you. Uh, White Knight, if your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send a card from your extra deck and their extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, it gains half of the combined total attack for the rest of the turn. So again, it can be quite good. Um, and yeah, can start doing some stuff off turn to sort of interact with your opponent. Um, it is quite weak on its own. Uh, it kind of needs some stuff around it, but pretty solid card in general. Uh, and then we move on to one of the newer supports. Uh, we've got two Dogmatica Albazoa. Uh, so uh, 4k, 4k, massive body. Um, while it's on the board, all your Dogmatica monsters are unaffected by the extra deck monsters. Um, so really solid protection. Um, and it can do one of two things on your turn. It either um, sends all your opponent's uh, extra deck monsters that are on the board back to the extra deck, or they send for every two cards in their extra deck a card from their hand or extra deck to the graveyard uh, so when you're going first it's super solid interruption being able to uh, get rid of half your opponent's extra deck before they've even started playing um, and yeah going second can start bouncing the board the only thing with this is that your opponent chooses which of the effects to apply uh, this can get around unaffected things um, if they choose the wrong thing um, but yeah otherwise super solid card um, and then we have for the monsters uh, three Ash Blossom. Um, currently, the only one of the only hand traps I'm playing in the deck. I've got more in the side, and yeah, that might be one of the cards I change out for the uh, Bestials. All right, uh, moving on to some spells. So uh, three Nadir Servant uh, searches your Ecclesia, which searches most of your other things that you need to play, uh, and gets an extra monster in the bin. So it can send Arc Light. Well, it can send Arc Light. Probably won't. Uh, but Entus um, and all your other good stuff. Um, super solid card for the deck. Um, again, another one of the new support cards and super solid. Uh, Dogmatica Matrix. We are playing three of these. Uh, so on activation, searches a Dogmatica Ritual card, either a monster or a spell. 
And then if your opponent controls a monster, you get to search an additional Dogmatica card. And then while you have a ritual monster on the board, you can send a card from either your extra deck or your opponent's extra deck to the graveyard. Uh, so super solid card going first. You can sort of snipe a card from your opponent's extra deck early. Um, or if you're going second, get you an additional search. Um, and yeah, can bin extra stuff if you're sort of stuck for resources. Um, very good card. And then we've got two Dogmatic Calamity and two Dogmatic Macabre. Uh, so Dogmatic Calamity sends from your extra deck in order to Ritual Summon. Uh, and then this Dogmatic Macabre can banish from Graveyard, uh, Fusions and Synchros specifically, um, in order to Ritual Summon. Um, this one has a benefit as well if you uh, complete the Ritual Summon and you control both White Knight and White Relic. Uh, you get to send an additional card from your opponent's extra deck to the Graveyard. Um, so yeah, again, another super solid piece of um, interaction uh, before your opponent's even gotten to play that you can start sending their own stuff. Uh, can be a little bit complicated to get all three ritual monsters on the board at the same time. Um, so probably won't come up super often um, for that second effect because Zoa's just a super solid card. Uh, that's probably what you're going to be going for more often than not. Um, but yeah, the option is there. Uh, then we've got uh, three pre-prep. Um, so your target in this is Dogmatic and Macabre. Uh, because in that later part, as I mentioned, um, it mentions both White Knight and, and White Relic, um, you can search either one that you're missing. Um, so super solid uh, to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, absolutely playing three. Super solid card. Uh, and then uh, to round out the spells, we have uh, three Triple Tactics Talents, two triple tactic thrust and one called by the grave um the deck doesn't lose to a huge amount of hand traps but people are going to try and interrupt you where they can uh so having these cards is sort of beneficial for you being able to uh interrupt or get extra resources and then to round out traps uh we are playing two dogmatic and punishment again bins extra deck stuff removes stuff from the board you get extra resources in your bin uh, and yeah, obviously searchable with Ecclesia and three infinite impermanence. Uh, so being able to turn off any problematic, uh, cards sort of off turn and stuff like that. Uh, cause yeah, one deck, uh, one issue the deck does come up with is, uh, main deck monsters. Obviously you don't have protection from those. So just need to be careful on some of those. So on to the extra deck. Uh, so most of these you're not actually going to summon. Most of them are just to bin to uh, get other stuff. Um, this is one of the few that you do summon, um, or you can summon rather, Despian Lulu Wululith. Uh, so that's uh, part of why I have the Bestials in the package at the moment, um, because when you summon your uh, Herald, uh, yeah, your Diviner to send Herald, it becomes level six. Uh, you banish the Herald to summon one of your uh, Bestials, and then that makes your Lulu Wululith. Uh, on, ball, on board, rather, um, it, uh, when a card leaves the extra deck, uh, buffs all your monsters by 500, and then non-target negates a card for the turn. Um, so again, really solid interruption considering how the deck plays. Uh, so if you can get to it going first, it's great. Um, but it does also have the added benefit that when it's in the graveyard at the end phase, you can summon a spellcaster with the same attack and defense. Uh, so that can get you an Ecclesia to get an extra search before your turn goes. Um, and the other two that you're generally summoning are Salmon Great Owl Mirage and Secure Gardener. Um, so this is generally what you'll make if you make Diviner and you don't uh, either have the ability or don't want to go into your Lulu Wululith. You will make uh, these in sequence like that. Um, so you've got an extra deck card in the bin to be able to use with your Maximus and you've got an extra monster on the board to be able to use with your Ecclesia. Uh, then we've got the Tri Brigade Arms Blacephalus the second, and we've got Garura. Uh, so these sort of work in sequence. Um, so that can be used as anything really. It can be used as a punishment or an into your servant target. Uh, that will send this, and this will net you an extra card. Uh, then we've got Five Headed Dragon. Again, definitely not summoning this. Uh, this is your main way of getting out the uh, Albazoa. Uh, because you need to send a monster who has the exact same level that's either a fusion or a synchro so this one is probably the biggest benefit because if you don't happen to get to it it's also a really good removal target for um, dogmatic and punishment because yeah highest attack value that a sort of main deck monster can have 
Uh, then we've got Titanoclad. Uh, again, yeah, you're more often than not sending this in order to get you a search for Ecclesia or uh, some other Dogmatica mod state in your end phase. <clears throat> then we've got three Entus. Uh, so this is your off turn interruption as well. Super solid card. Uh, not once per turn either, so if you have a way to send multiple and clear multiple cards, you can. Again, apologies for the mixed rarity. I'm not a big fan of it myself. Uh, it's just what I had available. Uh, then we have uh, Grand Guignol. Again, this hasn't come up for me yet, so this could be almost anything else. Um, but yeah, uh, that one, if your opponent uses the mods effect to summon, uh, banish it from your graveyard, and then you can summon the Lulu Wululith from your extra deck. Uh, then we've got three Herald of Arclight. Again, apologies for the mixed rarity. Uh, again, not once per turn. Searching for your ritual cards. You've got a huge amount of stuff that can search it anyway, but these are hugely beneficial. And once they're in the grave, you can use your uh, Dogmatica Macabre in order to summon other stuff by banishing them. And then finally, a Cyframe Lord Omega. Uh, so that's a really good recursion for the deck as well, putting your stuff back in so you can then search it again. Um, so yeah, and again, not once per turn. So if you have ways of sending it to the grave multiple times, you can recur multiple things. Um, so yeah, um, that is the deck as it is at the moment. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to jump in in the comments below and let me know. And hopefully I'll have an update for you on the build getting closer to Oceanics. All right, thanks guys.